last night I threw up in my Uber Center Yo, welcome to another video everyone, Mayo here and in my last video I told you I could record some professional vocals inside your DAW and today I'm gonna show you how you can process them. So stay with me and let's have some fun. So this is our project guys, everything that's here it's what I recorded in the last video, I will leave it right up here so you guys can check it out. All these vocals at this moment are raw as you can see in my mixer tracks, I took all the processing off of it and the only thing we have so far is all our vocals divided into the correct categories. Alright, so let's bring this instrumental to the top and let's go about the fundamentals of what do you actually need to get some professional vocals. I did everything by color here and you can see that there are at least five to six layers here and I have them laid out by importance. This is how I usually do it. So the first layer we have here is what we call our main vocals. I'm going to rename it for you. Let's call it main vocals. And this is what's going to be the main lead throughout the whole song. Let's take a listen to it. It's always happened. Last night I threw up in my Uber Center. This is our main vocal. If you want to see how all of this was recorded, just go back to the first video. Then, after the main vocals, what we're going to need to make it sound fuller is our dubs. When I record my main vocals, I usually do three leads, at least. This is so then I could do what we call vocal comping, which is get the best parts of every lead and then make my final one. After that, I either record some dub vocals like these ones that I colored green, or I just use the other takes that I didn't use for the main vocals as the dubs, which is exactly what I did here. After the main vocals, we have the first dub, it goes like this. Last night I threw up in my Uber. And second dub. Last night I threw up in my Uber. These are sang in the exact same way as the main vocals, and what we're gonna be doing to them is send them to the sides, which I'll show you in a bit. Then to finish it up, we're gonna have our back vocals, which are made of ad libs and harmonies. I didn't record many ad libs here i don't think i've recorded any but i did some back vocals that sound like this Last night, Uber, my shoes, I some of this might be considered ad libs but they are kind of a long one so i'm not sure what to call them here let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions now the last layer we have is our harmony and harmonies if i'm not mistaken are just our main vocal but sang in a different key of the scale i don't have a lot of music theory so i just sang it in a way i thought it would sound good but i'm not even sure if i'm doing it in the correct key or scale however it sounds good in the end and that's what matters our vocal harmony sounds like this last night i woke up in my uber and it Drunk text and that's enough to now. Okay, and this is a perfect example of a terrible vocal harmony because I did it for the first video and since the first video was about recording vocals, I didn't spend much time on perfecting them. As you can see in this vocal harmony, I don't even sing the real words of the song, but it will still sound good in the end. So imagine if you do put in the work and try to make this sound as professional as you can. So like I said, the vocal harmony is sang in a different key of the scale and if you listen to the first main vocal, you notice the key and scale of it, it goes like this. That's Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. And then the vocal harmony. Last night I woke up in my Uber sending. Drunk accent. Okay, I was really out of tune here, but you can realize that it's not sang in the same key. Nothing of this is processed at the moment. If you play it raw, this is how it sounds. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk tax spilling drinks on my shoes in our face. <laughs> So really, really terrible. But stay with me because we're going to be fixing it. First thing we're going to be doing is processing our main vocals. In order to start it off, we're going to click it and we're going to send it to a channel track. As you can see, no track is selected here. So I'm going to click this track here or select the number you wish. And it automatically sends it to track number 13 with the correct name, which is main vocals. Let's move this to the left to insert number one. And let's start processing our main vocals. When I listen to it, the first thing we're going to need is to roll off some of the low end using some EQ because we don't really need it and it's going to be clashing with the instrumental's bass. So let's take a listen. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. The vocal sounds really full. Let me add some parametric EQ here. We're going to be using native FL Studio equalizers. So if you'd open it up, let's see what we can do. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. The trick here for you guys is to start cutting the low end. So I'm going to select a different preset that has a, a bigger slope to cut off. And the trick here, guys, is to listen to your vocal and start cutting off the low end, but without removing too much of it. So we're going to be listening to it and we don't want to lose that low present. So when you notice that you cut off too much, just roll back a little bit. So let's go. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk ducks spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face down and I'm covering So right here we notice that we've cut too much so let's go back a bit and try and keep that low present Last night I threw up in my Uber sending 
Drunk Dex. We start noticing the information around the 150 hertz here, so I'm gonna be cutting around here. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. To make sure this sounds okay, finish off the equalizing stage with the instrumental play. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk Dex spilling drinks on my shoes in our face down. Sounds perfect to me right here. Next off, let's add some de -esser. I'm gonna go with the Fab Filter de right here. Not gonna play too much with it. We just wanna remove that, those S sounds. So let's listen. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now I'm face down and I'm covering bruises but I do it all again cause I'm young and I'm foolish. We can see we're removing a bit of the S sounds which is not too much but it sounds more controlled like this and it should be an option here for you to listen to what's being removed. Okay, so this is what's being tamed down by the de -esser. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start getting into pitch correction. So what I'm going to be using is our famous Autotune Pro that everyone loves, and it's probably the best plugin ever for auto pitch correction. And the only things you need to do here, and obviously you can get into more details later, but for the first stage of it, I'm just going to select low male. Even though I'm not a low male, I use this preset because I realize that it covers more of the equalizing spectrum, and it works best for me, but do your own research, try it out on your own vocals, and you see what's what. Then we need to select the correct key for this this song is in is in b flat major if you want to find the key of the song just simply go on google and type out the name of the song and key after loud luxury young and foolish key and if you click one of the links you we can immediately see that the key for this song is b flat major now that we got the key let's start playing our vocal and find a nice return speed that doesn't sound too corrected and it just sounds smooth let's go i'm gonna put it to 400 which is no pitch correction and we're gonna start going up until around like 20 or, or 10 let's go last night i threw up in my uber sending drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now i face down and i'm covering bruises but i do it all again because i'm young and i'm foolish so 18 sounds okay to me let's leave it like that and i also like to add some extra throat length right here in the format because it, it makes my vocal sound a bit better let's put it to 104 maybe which is what i usually do last night i threw up in my uber sending drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now i face down and i'm covering bruises but i do it all again because i'm young and I'm foolish. Hey, okay, sounds nice. Now we move on to the compression stage and for this I'm going to be using the glue, which is a nice compressor that I love. And I'm just going to be compressing it a little bit so to tame all the volume. So let's go. Last night I threw up in Bring my up the threshold. Uber sending. Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face Boost down it up a bit with the makeup. covering bruises but I do it all again cause I'm young and I'm foolish. All right, I use the default settings with one millisecond attack and dot six millisecond release and the ratio at four. And it sounds okay to me, it compresses it a little bit. We're gonna be doing a bit more compression later but for this stage, it sounds okay. Then we're gonna be wanting to add some distortion and I use Camel Crusher for this. And if you guys have seen my previous videos on vocals, you know that I have my vocal presets that I also sell online. And what I'm doing right now, this vocal preset right here is one of, is usually what I use for my own vocals and it kind of nails it every time. So for you guys, it's a matter of choosing your perfect plugins, the plugins you like the most, use them on your own voice and see how you like them. And then you can start using them consistently throughout your songs. So for this plugin right here, I like to go with the British clean preset, which isn't too harsh. And then we bring the mix all the way down and we start adding it bit by bit. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face down and I'm covering bruises but you see it adds a, a bit more of harmony, some harmony frequencies. I'm not doing some gain stage right now, so I'm bringing my vocals up in volume uh, with all these plugins, which doesn't really give you any nice perception of what the plugin is actually doing. But by experience, I know that this is adding an extra crunch to the vocal. And later on, we're gonna bring the vocals down a bit in volume. Then to top it off, I just use a bit of Sound Goodizer, which is a native FL Studio distortion plugin, and we're just gonna add a little bit of it to the Last main vocal. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. I'm gonna go with a right here and we're gonna bring the volume down a bit so it doesn't start clipping now all it's left for the main vocal besides reverb and delay it's add a bit more of compression and equalize everything at the end for that i'm gonna go with vintage compressor by ozone 8 and ott this is not really necessary guys but for me it adds an extra punch let's go with both of these i'm gonna turn off ott and let's go with vintage compressor this is my final compression to control everything that i added to the vocal to control all the volumes all the extra crunchiness that i added so it doesn't sound too harsh and out of place let's start going down a bit here on the threshold last night i threw up in my uber sending 
Drunk dogs spilling drinks. When this blue bar starts to appear, it means you are now actually compressing the vocal. To my shoes if you go all the way down, down face down and super I'm compressed. And bruises, right but I do it all again because I'm young and I'm. F it sounds a bit more controlled. Then we add some OTT. This is gonna give it extra brightness. If we play without. Last night I threw and we start up, going up my Uber sending. Drunk text, spilling drinks. I'm that's a lot of compression, so I like to have to maximum 10%. So let's see what it does. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk dex, spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face down and I'm covering bruises but Okay, if you turn it on and off, you can see it adds a slight, slight, slight extra brightness. Then, last stage, EQ. We're gonna go with a free parametric EQ again. And this is just to roll off the low end once again, because even though we cut it at the beginning, um, the distortion plugins will be adding more frequencies here, so we're gonna want to remove last them. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending around the same place we did for the first EQ. And I'm gonna actually bring this EQ to the last slot here. So it applies at the end of everything that I added. And then we're gonna put another EQ. With this EQ, you usually wanna remove some resonances from your vocal. I'm not gonna be doing that for this one because I don't think it sounds really, really harsh, but I'm gonna remove a bit here on the low mids because I know that my microphone is a bit, you know, uh, sounds a bit muddy in there. So I'm last gonna go off and just I threw up in my Uber remove it a little bit. You can see that there's a lot of information here that, and I think that's specific to my microphone. And I'm just gonna boost the high end a little bit here so it sounds brighter. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Okay, and always make sure that while you're EQing, you're doing it with the instrumental lock, right? Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk dark, spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face down and I'm covering bruises but I do it all again cause I'm young and I'm foolish. Okay, sounds good to me. Maybe it's a bit high, I'm not sure, but you guys get the point. Last stage for our main vocals is to add some reverb and delay. So let's check it out. To do that, since we filled out all our slots and to have more control of the reverb, we're gonna send the main vocal to a bus channel. And how we do that is we go here down to Discord and we're gonna click the insert number two here. And you can see that now we're sending our main vocals to insert number two as well. Let's play. Last night I was sending. Okay, so we duplicated our signal. If we bring this down, this chord down, Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. we control how much we're sending from the main vocal to insert number two. And actually, I'm going to open up my reverb preset right here from one of my videos, which is called Reverb Bus. And you guys can see already, the only things that I have here is my Fab Filter Pro R, which is a nice reverb that I use for pretty much all my vocals, and then a parametric EQ. And when we add our reverb, what I do in this case is I select a large preset for the reverb and I go with the Vocal Hall Bright, which is one that I really think sounds nice sort of like an in church preset and what I do here is I move down this knob right here this is equalizing it a bit I'm gonna be taking off a bit of the low end right here okay and I always leave the space at three seconds which is the decay of it and always make sure that your mix is set to a hundred percent so the maximum because we're using this on a reverb bus so we're then going to be controlling it with the input that comes into this bus okay so everything at the maximum we play our reverb Last night I let me just isolate this vocal. Last night I threw up in my Uber sent. So that's that's a lot of reverb, right? So what we do is we select our main vocal and we take all the information we send into the reverb bus and now you can see that there's no reverb. Last night I threw up in my And then we start slowly going up until we like how it sounds. So let's go. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk dark, spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face down and I'm Now we confirm it with the instrumental. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Drunk dark, spilling drinks on my shoes and now I and then the last stage is to add some EQ to cut off the low end of the reverb. When you let the low end go and be processed by the reverb, it doesn't sound that good. So I always take off a bit of the low end and also a bit of the high end and just add reverb to this low mid to high mid range, okay? If you listen to the vocal without reverb, it sounds like this. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Then we add some reverb. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Okay, if you do it in solo, you can have a better perception of it. So no reverb. Last night I threw up in my Uber. And then reverb on. Last night I threw up in my Uber send. Sounds much fuller. And now the last stage for our main vocal is to add some delay. So I'm gonna be opening up my delay preset here as well. The process is exactly the same, but for this, what I use is an Echo Boy, which is a delay plugin that I really like. I use it with a default preset, and all I do 
is put an echo time here to one fourth of the note mixed to 100% wet as you guys may know because we're using a bus channel feedback is to the minimum right here this is just a low adjustment and you can always cut off the low end and the high end here inside the own plugin like you can do for the reverb one then in this saturation I use the Telray preset right here and you guys can copy all these settings and see if you like it once again, EQ to cut off the low end and the high end. And don't forget, you need to connect the main vocal to the delay bus right here. And let's see how it sounds. Last night, I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk text. So it pretty much just like uses the delay to repeat what I'm singing, which is actually what a delay does usually. <laughs> but I don't use a lot of it. I just use a tiny, tiny percentage. So we're going to go all the way down Last night, and start going. Last up. night, I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk deck, spilling drinks on my shoes. All right, really low. It sort of like acts like a back layer, a repeated layer of the main vocal. So this is the vocal raw. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. And then with reverb and delay, it goes like this. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk deck, spilling drinks on my shoes. And now I face down and I'm covered. Okay, it already sounds professional. And we haven't even added the dubs, the vo back vocals or the harmonies. Now, moving on to the dubs, what we're going to be doing is we're first going to be processing them individually, a really simple processing. It doesn't need to be a lot of stuff because it's quite simple. And then we're going to be sending them to different sites. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to send the first dub to a track, just like we sent our main vocal. Track number seven is dub one and then dub two, we're going to send it track number nine. Let's bring this actually all the way to the left. Now, to make this really simple and fast, we're going to steal this first EQ from the main vocal. Let's just drag this save preset as to dub one and let's do the same to dub two. Because our dubs are pretty much our main vocal, so we're, we're just going to be cutting the same frequencies here. And then I'm also going to be stealing this auto tune. Let's drag it to dub number one and do the same to dub number two. Make sure you have this low latency mode activated here in the options and the auto tune options. It's this option right here, use low latency, especially if you have a low spec computer because adding a lot of autotunes can be quite heavy on your CPU. Then let's play our first up, see how it sounds. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes And now I face down and I'm covered in bruises Since the dubs are not going to be that noticeable in the song I'm going to bring the region speed of the autotune a bit up Because I really want those notes to be corrected And it might sound bad on its own It's It might sound overcorrected Especially because I failed a lot of the notes But it won't be that noticeable in the final result Let's do the same to the second dub But I do it all again Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now I Both together Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Okay, and here's our magic First thing we're gonna be doing is sending our dub number one all the way to the left Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Then we're gonna be sending the second dub all the way to the right Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Both together Last night I threw up in my Uber sending You see how big that sounds? And then we're gonna be sending them both So we're gonna hit control and select both right here And we're gonna right click on the next bus channel and we're gonna set, do route to this track only. So this is gonna disconnect the dubs from the master and it's gonna send them to insert number six. And I'm gonna call this dubs bus. Okay, as you can see right here to the chords, they're both being sent to this bus right here. And now we can control both together, their volume, their reverb, anything we want. So let's play it. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Okay, now it sounds a bit lower. And what I'm going to be doing here, let me just change this color to green. What we're going to be doing to the dubs right here is we're going to add some compression to make them sound more even, more glued together. And then we're going to add a little bit of reverb to make it sound a bit bigger and spatial. Okay, so let's use glue again for this one. Last night I threw up Bring in the threshold. Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face down and I'm covered in bruises but I do Okay, it sounds good to me and then we're gonna be adding Let's add free reverb actually for this one, free reverb too. And we're just gonna add, uh, we're just gonna cut the low end here and a bit of the high end and play with the wetness. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes and now I. And now it sounds perfect. So let's bring the dubs all the way down in volume and let's add this to the main vocal and see how it sounds. So no dubs right here, just the main vocal playing. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. And let's start going up. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. 
Drunk decks, spilling drinks on my shoes And now I'm face down and I'm covering bruises But I do it all again So this is just the main vocal Last night I threw up in my Uber sending And now with the dubs Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Did you see how bigger this sounds? It's crazy Let's check it with instrumental Last night I threw up in my Uber No dubs first Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Let's put on the dubs. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk dirt spilling drinks on my shoes in our and now the last back layers, which is going to be our back vocals and our harmonies, it's actually quite simple as well. So let's send our back vocals to track number nine right here. And once again, we're going to be adding our reverb. Let's also steal the, that EQ right here do the same processing bring the eq to the top and we eq first before the reverb because if we're going to be taking off the low end we don't want the auto tune to be pitching that low end it's not necessary it, it might hurt its pitch correction so let's bring the back vocals to the left what we need here is also another glue Last night, and now, now. okay everything's being compressed and now we're gonna also use a bit of reverb but this time we're gonna be using fruity reverb and we're gonna be adding a bit of low cut right here just so we don't add a reverb to the low part of the vocal and then look at this trick we're gonna bring the dryness to half maybe uh, at the wet function of the reverb we're gonna add it to like 40 percent or something uh, now if we go all the way down the dry we only get reverb right and it sounds really really special right in the back so let's find a, a sweet spot right here which is adding a bit of wetness and reducing the dryness and look at what this does in the vocal so if we were playing the main vocal with the back vocals and then we take off the reverb it sounds like this face down so the the back vocal is actually in the center still it's competing with the main vocal but then when we add some pretty reverb and we send it all the way to the back look at this face down it's sounding way more in the back as a complementing layer and it sounds actually much better so let's put a bit more reverb face down okay sounding perfect to me let's just lower this in volume so everything sounds even out to do that we're going to add all the layers you have so far with the instrumental let's see how it sounds face down and Okay, I'm gonna bring it a bit lower and actually I feel like it needs to cut off a bit more of the low cut right here sounding good to me this is a really subtle layer nothing too much it's just to add some extra movement some extra fulfillment let's put it like that and then we have another layer of back vocals that actually overlaps with this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this we're gonna drag this run right here I'm gonna call this back vocals too and you may be asking if they're the same thing why don't I just send them to the same insert and the answer for that is if you play two samples in the same insert and you're using autotune autotune will only be able to correct one if I'm not mistaken so it's gonna sound really really weird to avoid that we're gonna duplicate the insert and we'll have two different auto tunes playing for each of those so this one plays the left insert it goes like this and this one is also being corrected and we play them together and when we play it together if we send them to the same channel look how it sounds it sounds really auto-tune because auto-tune doesn't know what to do with two vocals playing at the same time. But if we send the second layer to track insert number eight, which is right here, and we play it. The problem is fixed because auto-tune is now separately pitch correcting each individual vocal. Last layer of this guys and this is how we're gonna get our final stage our final result of professional vocals is adding some harmonies once again the processing right here is exactly the same as the back vocals i believe let's actually drag these back vocals to the harmonies one but let's call this harmonies instead so everything is organized and now only thing we're going to be changing here you can see that we already have the eq the auto tune correcting the pitch some compression let's see if the compression is okay okay it looks like it's compressing all right and then instead of this 3d reverb i don't want to send the harmony that much to the back i want to keep it a bit in the center so it kind of contrasts with the main vocal so instead of this big reverb we're going to be using 3d reverb 2 low cut it a bit keep the dryness at its default setting and then bring the wetness a bit up if it doesn't sound as big as you want you can always turn up the decay right here and it will make it sound really big okay so be careful with that let's turn it up a bit and then let's play it all together and see if it's sounding okay with all the other leads last night i threw up in my uber sending 
Drunk deck, spilling drinks on my shoes and now I'm face down and I'm covered. So I immediately noticed that the second back vocal is really, really loud. It's interfering with the main vocal, so I'm gonna bring it down a bit. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk deck, spilling drinks on my shoes and now. And then the harmonies, like I told you guys, I didn't put enough effort into this harmony, so it doesn't really sound that good and that professional. So I'm gonna bring it down in volume so it's not as noticeable, but it still fulfills that part that we want to fulfill, which is in a different key or in a different part of the scale. So let's bring it down a bit. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk decks. And all we do next is make sure that it sounds okay with the instrumental. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk decks, spilling drinks on my shoes and now I face down and I'm covering bruises. Sounds pretty good to me, guys. So the more effort you put into this while you're singing, the better the result you're gonna get while you're processing. Keep that in mind. Okay, that was all for the vocal processing, guys. I hope I made myself clear while I was explaining it. If you guys didn't understand anything or if I'm doing something wrong that you guys have any tips for me that I should correct, let me know down in the comments. I always love to keep learning and I really hope this helped you. So let's take a listen to the final result. But I do it all again Cause I'm young and I'm foolish Thank you so much for watching everyone I hope this video helped you with your vocal production skills Don't forget to leave that like and subscribe to the channel Because that really helps me out We're trying to grow here in 2024 And the algorithm really needs it So yeah, that was it for the video Hope you guys enjoyed it And I'll see you around Take care